Hey everyone, John from Tilted Gamers Tech here. I've been getting a lot of questions on the external components of my setup, and I'm here to answer those for you guys today. So this was my first build, and it was really important to me to make sure everything I had here was aesthetically pleasing and make sure it looked as clean as possible. So all of the components you guys are going to see in this video were intended to fit that clean, kind of a white-black look that you see going on here. Uh, it was really important to me that I had a really professional looking setup, something that wasn't overly colorful. I was trying to avoid RGB as much as possible. So I'm going to real quickly run through my components here. The keyboard, which is one of, actually one of the first components that I bought, is the Cooler Master Master Keys Pro white LED keyboard. It's the large size one because I wanted that number pad on there. And it has Cherry MX blue switches. And then I actually bought some Corsair keycaps, which are these uh, Corsair Performance uh, white keycaps you see here. And then I additionally went with the Razer Mamba Tournament Edition uh, mouse that I am running with uh, white LEDs. Uh, it's a little bit off because it is an RGB mouse that does have just LEDs on there, uh, but you can kind of see that it's, it's mostly white. It does have a little bit of a purple tinge to it. Uh, the next thing I went with was the speakers here. Uh, it was really important to me to get good audio at a relatively cheap price here. I have the Logitech Z200s, which are very good quality. They have two separate diaphragms on these, uh, so you're going to have uh, basically a dedicated highs and lows. Um, and it was really important to me that I got something that also, again, fit the, the color scheme I was going for. The next thing that I'm going to go over real quickly is the headset that I went with. This is the Massdrop AKG M220. These are semi-open back studio headphones uh, that I bought off of Massdrop. It's a really great site that you can find some really good bargains for, uh, get some really good prices on things like that. The microphone I have already gone over. Uh, it's, uh, it's a USB condenser microphone. Uh, check that video out uh, up in the corner there. The links are also in the description for that as well. The monitors were some of the most important things that I wanted to make sure I did well on selecting. So the main monitor here is my, uh, it's an Asus monitor. It's a 24 inch 1080p monitor. It's a uh, free sync. It has uh, basically uh, one millisecond response time with 75 hertz refresh rate. I wanted to make sure I had something over 60 just so I could push that if I needed to. And it is the VG245H. And then the secondary monitor, which I basically just use as a productivity monitor, is the AOC E2070. It's a 20 inch uh, 1600 by 900 monitor. So it's not necessarily a really high resolution. As you can see, it's not an IPS panel. So as I turn the camera, you're gonna see you know, it's not a very wide viewing angle on that at all. So it's gonna struggle a little bit, but it does the job for what I need it to do. It's basically being able to have you know, a Microsoft Word document open or something like that, or being able to run code in a separate window. The final thing I want to go over in the build real quickly is the monitor stand I have. I do have a dual arm mount back here. It is the Wally freestanding dual LCD monitor desk mount. So this monitor stand has extremely good levels of tilt. Uh, it also has full rotation. Uh, it's fully adjustable and all these monitors go well together quite nicely. So in all, I'm really happy with this build. Uh, it looks good. It's got a clean setup and these are, these are all my components. So that's my setup in a nutshell. If you guys have any questions at all about anything you see in the video, please feel free to comment down below. I will answer those as quickly as possible. If you are interested in looking at any of these components for yourselves or even buying them, all of the Amazon affiliate links for those are gonna be down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe for similar content.